So that is how LeBron chose to handle that. There's Will Bond. Stephen A., we'll start with you. How about LeBron's response? Well, I don't care how he verbally responds. I care how he responds come game time. Now, all of us are basketball lovers. This is a basketball professional, an elite basketball player. We know what this game entails, and who, does, who knows it better than LeBron? Winning is the priority. Team togetherness is the priority, that cohesiveness. But there is nothing wrong with squeezing in a few moments where you bust somebody's living you know what to remind them just who the hell you are. And this is one of those moments that call for it, okay? We know that Dylan Brooks isn't the player that LeBron James is. We know it's tactical. You're trying to get in his head, trying to bait him. We get all of that. No, you don't fall for that. But when you sit up there and talk about a brother that's 38 years of age going on 39, his 20th season in the league, in better shape, still one of the elite players in this game, on the Mount Rushmore or all of basketball, and you are chirping about him? He needs to bust your living you-know-what. <laughs> when you want him, give me the ball. Outside, inside, open court, free throw line, whatever it takes. You, there's moments, that's all I'm saying about Will Bond and Jalen. There's just moments. I'm not talking about the whole game, disrupting the offensive scheme, but there are moments where you shall bust his living <laughs> you-know-what. Every sporting event has something in common, a favorite and an underdog. And when you're going against these all-time great players, you have to look in your, yourself in the mirror and have irrational confidence because everybody else think you're going to get schooled when you're going against Kobe, which I have, Jordan, which I have, LeBron, which I have. But there are times when I went home at night where I played better than them. There were times where I won NBA Player of the Week. Therefore, when you play defense in particular, you got to have a screw loose a little bit. <laughs> See Dennis Rodman, <laughs> Meta World Peace, Bruce Bowen, Draymond Green. These guys have to go right to the edge of the pool, and every now and then, they're going to fall in or push you in. So for Dylan Brooks, he wants LeBron to make it a one-on-one -on -one battle because that takes him away from the team concept. And also, all you need to be able to talk trash is a voice. I hate when people think, oh, he ain't good enough to talk trash. You know what make him good enough? He on the floor with him, mm -hmm. and he got a voice. <laughs> and guess who won the previous game? Memphis. That gives me the light. That gives me the chance to talk all of the trash that I want. For what it's worth, LeBron has shot 7 of 14 with Brooks as his primary defender in the series so far. Now, Michael Wilbon. Uh, we always turn to you for historical perspective. And, of course, you were around Michael Jordan throughout his career as, as much, if not more, than any other journalist. And we always compare LeBron to Michael. And so I found myself thinking, <laughs> how would Michael have handled it if someone had said of him the things that Dylan Brooks said of LeBron? Greeny, you know you were there in Chicago for some of that. <laughs> Jalen's Jay, perspective is wonderful because Jalen... We, we got the historian. We got the man who played against all the guys in question. But I will, I will just say this. And I, earlier today on our production call, and I know you, I ask you guys, how, how differently will LeBron respond to this compared to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant? Uh, and I think that those are the notable people. Magic might have smiled and laughed. He'd have been burning up inside and tried to get back at him in his own way. And I was asking you guys, and particularly Jalen, does this burn LeBron personally the way it would have Michael and Kobe? Look, I, there were times I remember Greeny walking into old Chicago State, well, walking into the United Center and having to write for the Washington Post then about another player who had talked a little trash to Michael. Michael got angry and got in my, on my case, in my face before the game for daring to come to my hometown in his town to even ask him about that player. It was great. And then after the game, of course, Michael says to me, hey, listen, I knew you got to write about this kid. Don't be too hard on him. He's really going to be fine. And you're like, what? What, did I, what just happened out here in this game in which you said this kid wasn't going to score any points? And I think he had three points for the game. Because Michael and Kobe took it personally in a way that I don't know LeBron will. Jalen, you are best to speak to this. Will this get under LeBron's skin in any way like it would have Michael and Kobe? Because they would have wanted to annihilate, in the context of winning, in the context of winning, they would have wanted to and sought 
to destroy <laughs> the opposing player who did this. Different skills, and you guys appreciate this. It's Kobe and MJ are MMA fighters. LeBron James is a boxer, the sweet science. He's going to be patient, he's going to be measured, and then he's going to go for the knockout. He's going to try to knock Dylan Brooks out in his own way, but he's not going to lose his discipline in trying to do it. But I definitely agree with Will Bond. It's going to be a different approach. We will have them tomorrow night on ESPN. I'm saying it needs to be a different approach because we're talking, again, I'm not questioning both of y'all from an historical perspective. I'm not questioning anything that y'all saying. All I'm trying to say is I've been around the game for a few, for a few years myself. Let me tell her myself, it's 30 plus, okay? I know a thing or two about this game, and I'm here to tell you something right now. Every now and again, again, in the context of winning, you have to remind somebody just who they're dealing with because what you don't want to do is give them life by adding credence to what they're saying because of the people that you galvanize around you. Because even though LeBron is going to be of that ilk, what about them young bucks that don't know any better, that's there as you're wearing your same uniform, that look up to you? You think no one is going to sit up there and go like this? You just going to let them say something like that about you? <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do about that. They know the how way, great Stephen LeBron a. is. They know how great he is. Stephen a. But they're going to do that. I think that Dylan Brooks knows what he's doing, and I don't even think he necessarily believes what he's saying. He's taking on a role, which in this right. day and age, with social media and all the posing that goes on and people trying to get attention without any particular degree of shame, this is different. Kobe and Michael and maybe others who, I, I don't know how Wilt might have been uh, in this way or Bill Russell might have been when challenged if people ever did that. We're looking at a different time, and so people react differently. But you know what? I would not ask LeBron James to go outside his personality. Everything LeBron James has done in his career has worked to his advantage, right? So <laughs> not having her. Michael and Kobe's temperament, remember. I can bring him six times remember, remember, years ago, he was my favorite irrational confidence. Uh, let, let me leave this here for the moment because there were just so many things that we need to get to before we get to tip off tonight in Atlanta of the Celtics and the Hawks. So we'll come back with much more of those. Right in the Rodeo Drive. Right in Laurel Canyon is what we're saying. Hollywood and Vine, maybe. Got him in the Beverly Hills, the Hollywood Squares. Uh, he was ejected, his third ejection of this season, second of his postseason career. We play on, Ooh. and LeBron throwing down. Ooh. Getting up in year 20. 25 points, nine rebounds, five dimes, 185th career, 25-point playoff game, extending his own record. Lakers are up 21, That's and then sick. we told you about the brow. Sort of a, sort of a no-show in game two. He came correct. 31 points, 17 rebounds. Lakers up 20 after the third. Now, John Morant had himself a fourth quarter to remember. Morant was on one and then some. Grizzlies down 16 after that dunk, and then Morant making one of his six made threes. Grizzlies down 14. He's a fourth player in NBA history, Morant, with 45 points, 10 dimes, and five made threes in the playoffs. Papa Morant loving it. That list, by the way, it's now John Morant, Dame, Luka, and Kobe. That's a strong list. Morant can't get that to go, though. He scored 22 points at one point. Lakers still win by 10. Been doing this too long. I don't, I'm, I'm making no statements. Uh, you know, we had an opportunity to come home and um, play well on our home floor, and we did that. My focus is to my teammates and us trying to figure out a way how we can beat the Memphis Grizzlies, now how I can beat the individual in her team. If anybody know me, they should know that's what I've always been about. This is not my first rodeo. I've, I've had this throughout my career with, you know, certain individuals, you know, it's easy. It's literally easy if you want to. We won tonight. Let me not start. I don't want to start this. It's a lot to, let me just, we won. You had a hell of a game, my boy. Yes, yes, you had a hell of a game. I'm not going to do this. Oh, you know, they, you know, treat Dylan. You know, I honestly wouldn't be surprised. I felt like, you know, he was ejected because of past ejections, you know, that was made in games before. Flagrant one, you know, okay. But ejection, you know, I, I don't agree with it at all. Mm. Hit him right in Randy's Donuts, That's though, you know? Yeah, got him right in the South Central. Lakers' ninth straight win. 
when the series was tied at one apiece, passing the Bulls for the longest streak in NBA history. L.A. last lost in this situation in Game 3, the 4 NBA Finals against the Pistons. Game 4 in this series, Monday, 10 Eastern, in L.A. All right,